Have you ever wondered what it's like to visit one of the oldest and most amazing cities in the world? A city that has witnessed thousands of years of history, culture, and adventure? A city that is also a gateway to some of the most stunning islands in the Mediterranean? Well, that city is Athens. And in this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 things to do in Athens, as well as some tips on how to make the most of your trip. So if you're ready to explore the best of Athens with me, make sure you watch this video till the end. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos. Let's go! Visit the Acropolis The Acropolis is the most iconic site in Athens and a must-see for any visitor. This hilltop complex dates back to the 5th century BCE and includes the famous Parthenon Temple dedicated to the goddess Athena, as well as other monuments like the Erechtheion, the Propylaea, and the Odeon of Herod's Atticus. The Acropolis offers stunning views of the city and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can explore the Acropolis on your own or join a guided tour that will give you more insight into its history and significance. Admission to the Acropolis is 24 USD, 20 euros or you can get a five-day combined ticket for 36 USD, 30 euros, that includes access to other archeological sites in Athens. To avoid the crowds and the heat, try to visit early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Visit the Acropolis Museum. The Acropolis Museum is one of the best museums in Athens and showcases the artifacts and sculptures that were found on the Acropolis Hill. The museum has a modern design that contrasts with the ancient treasures it holds. One of the highlights is the glass floor where you can walk over the ruins of an ancient neighborhood. You can also see the original friezes and statues from the Parthenon, as well as other exhibits that tell the story of life in ancient Athens. Admission to the museum is 6 USD, 5 euros, in winter, and 12 USD, 10 euros, in summer. You can also book a guided tour for an extra fee. Explore Plaka. Plaka is one of the oldest and most charming neighborhoods in Athens. It's located at the foot of the Acropolis and has a maze of narrow streets lined with colorful houses, shops, cafes, and restaurants. Plaka is a great place to wander around and soak up the atmosphere of old Athens. You can also find some interesting sites here, such as the Roman Agora, the Tower of the Winds, and the Lysocrates Monument. See the changing of the guard. One of the most popular attractions in Athens is the changing of the guard ceremony at Syntagma Square. Syntagma Square is where you can find the Greek Parliament building and the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, which honors those who died fighting for Greece's independence. Every hour, you can witness a ceremonial change of guard by soldiers dressed in traditional uniforms with pom-pom shoes and skirts. The guards perform a slow-motion march with precise movements and poses. The ceremony is especially impressive on Sundays at 11 a.m., when a larger contingent of guards marches with a band from their barracks to Syntagma Square. Visit the National Archaeological Museum. The National Archaeological Museum is another must-see museum in Athens for anyone interested in ancient Greek art and culture. The museum has one of the most extensive collections of ancient Greek artifacts in the world. You can see over 11,000 items here, ranging from pottery and jewelry to sculptures and frescoes. Some of the highlights include the Gold Mask of Agamemnon, the Bronze Statue of Poseidon, and the Antikythera Mechanism an ancient device that calculated astronomical positions. Admission to the museum is 12 USD, 10 euros. Stroll around Monastiraki. Monastiraki is another lively and historic neighborhood in Athens, famous for its flea market and street vendors. You can find all kinds of goods here, from antiques and books to clothes and souvenirs. Monastiraki is also a great place to sample some of the best street food in Athens, such as sovlaki, gyros, and lukumades, honey donuts. Don't miss the Monastereki Square where you can see the Tsisterekis Mosque, the Pantanasa Church, and the Hadrian's Library. Enjoy the nightlife in Syri. Syri is one of the coolest and most vibrant areas in Athens, especially at night. This former industrial district has been transformed into a hipster hotspot, with plenty of bars, clubs, cafes, and restaurants to choose from. You can find live music, DJs, art galleries, and street art here, as well as a diverse crowd of locals and tourists. 
Sari is also known for its traditional tavernas and auseries, where you can enjoy some Greek mees, small plates, and ouzo, a nice flavored liquor. Take a day trip to Delphi. Delphi is one of the most important archaeological sites in Greece and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was considered the center of the world by the ancient Greeks and the home of the Oracle of Apollo. Here you can see the remains of the Temple of Apollo, where people came to ask for advice from the god. The Treasury of Athens, where offerings were stored. The theater where cultural events took place. And the stadium, where athletic competitions were held. You can also visit the nearby Delphi Archaeological Museum, which displays some of the most impressive artifacts found at the site, such as the bronze charioteer statue and the Sphinx of Naxos. Delphi is about 112 miles, 180 kilometers from Athens and can be reached by bus or car in about 2.5 hours. You can also join a guided tour that includes transportation and admission fees for around 60 USD, 50 euros per person. Relax at one of the beaches. Athens may not be known for its beaches, but it does have some nice ones within easy reach from the city center. You can take a tram or a bus to the southern suburbs of Athens, where you can find several sandy beaches along the coast. Some of the most popular ones are Glyphata, Vuliagmini, Farkiza, and Lagunissi. Most of these beaches are organized and charge a small fee for sunbeds and umbrellas, but they also offer facilities like showers, changing rooms, cafes, and water sports. Alternatively, you can take a ferry or a boat to one of the nearby islands, such as Aegina, Hydra, or Poros, where you can enjoy more secluded and scenic beaches. Watch a movie under the stars. One of the most unique and romantic things to do in Athens is to watch a movie at an open-air cinema. There are several outdoor cinemas in Athens that operate during the summer months, from May to September, showing both classic and new movies in their original language with Greek subtitles. Some of the best ones are Sign Paris in Plaka, which has a view of the Acropolis, Seen Thysio in Thysio, which also overlooks the Acropolis, and Seen Riviera in Koloneki, which has a garden setting. The ticket prices range from 6 to 12 USD, 5 to 10 euros, and include a drink. So these are the top 10 things to do in Athens, but there are many more attractions and activities to enjoy in this amazing city. Before I wrap up this video, let me give you some tips on how to make your trip to Athens easier and more enjoyable. Tips for visiting Athens The best time to visit Athens is in spring or autumn, when the weather is mild and pleasant and the crowds are thinner. Avoid visiting in August, when most Athenians leave the city and many businesses close down. The best way to get around Athens is by public transportation, which includes metro, tram, bus, and trolley. You can buy a ticket for 1.68 USD, 1 euro and 40 cents. That is valid for 90 minutes on any mode of transport or a daily ticket for 5.40 USD, 4 euros and 50 cents. That is valid for 24 hours. You can also use taxis or Uber, which are relatively cheap and convenient. The best way to save money in Athens is by eating at street food stalls or takeaway shops where you can get a delicious sovlaki or gyro for around 2.40 USD, 2 euros. You can also visit some of the free attractions in Athens, such as the National Garden, the Panathenaic Stadium, and the Hill of the Nymphs. The best way to experience Athens like a local is by drinking coffee several times a day at one of the many cafes around the city. Coffee culture is huge in Athens, and you will find a variety of styles and flavors to suit your taste. You can also join one of the free walking tours that will show you some of the hidden gems and local secrets of Athens. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful for planning your trip to Athens. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of Athens or if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and see you next time.